What's up, Zox fam? We're back with some more dislike. Now, I wanted to get into a couple of other things that I felt like was just kind of important, considering like we've had all this stuff going on with the state of the game. Um, and I just feel like the devs have been super radio silent. Like they post their like post about, hey, look at this. This is the percentages to the gotcha now or uh this is the character's uh recommended build but they haven't actually addressed any of the things that which i know they're seeing what the community has been saying and the thing is is that with all of that stuff being said it's really honestly creating a situation where they're just allowing the game to just be on fire and it's just on fire and i really feel like for this game to have longevity is going to be really important for them to address the issues right I, I, the thing about this is like we brought up issues obviously with the deviate system um obviously i feel like on average the average player is does not like it but the devs have not said anything um i feel like you know again even just down to the shimmer banner we've mentioned this multiple times with the pity being so high nobody said anything from the development team about it like hey we're gonna try to set other pity parameters in the game so that you have a higher chance of you being able to get these espers they haven't said anything right and i think that that's something that uh, you, you have to start looking at what exactly is the value of your money and your time even that you're putting into this game and for me it's becoming one of those things where i'm putting less and less time and definitely way less if any well, not any money at all into dislike and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's becoming a super pay to win fest it's like if you don't have specific things then you're not doing certain things um and it's also again the way that they're handling the feedback which they take none of it and then also on top of that the way that they're just not addressing anything is just creating what I feel like a entire cesspool of either assumptions or just making players feel like they're not valued. And it's just really that simple. And the thing is, is that there's so many different things that they could do to make this situation better. Like, for example lowering the shimmer pity rate or again like i mentioned before putting a pity in place for those that have not gotten a shimmer over a whole year there's people that are playing this game and they haven't obtained one shimmer but you keep emphasizing and pushing content that requires for you to even be able to remotely get to those thresholds for where it makes sense to actually play it shimmer espers aka tever aka chuan pin aka unis right um and, and then i mean even say tolan and, and uh nuwa so it's kind of like again like you can't keep the game like this and then expect people to want to keep playing your game then another thing you could do you could add wish stones to the elemental tickets at this point i was actually like you know beforehand before certain things were added to uh the game i was like well there was no point i get why they didn't add them there's such a dilute, uh, the pool of, uh, for, for the gold records is so diluted now because of Deviants. You got to put wish stones somewhere else. Either Deviants need to give wish stones or you need to add them to elemental tickets. Um, you know, increase the amount of wish stones you get if a unit pops up. Something, something has to happen because you getting an, even just the idea, like people already seen me pull tier and tier is just like blowing my mind that he's even in the gotcha why is he not separated you shouldn't even be pulling meredith like there's just certain units that it's like you shouldn't even be getting from the divinate system gotcha wise anyway and it's like those are things that are also still taking away from your wish stones and if we're being honest the thing that has the most underlying value is duping of your units and the problem that kind of becomes that comes with that is that even though divinates in my opinion overall have really bad skills it doesn't change the fact that divinates have extremely high value once you start investing into them for base stats because the base stats that you get from this i'm right now i'm telling you guys there's literally like people with gaiuses that have almost seven thousand attack here <laughs> you know like it's an insane base stat increase that is just taking characters to a whole different level of damage um bulkiness um whatever it is that they're gaining from that whatever their build is and what they you know bruiser dps cleaver whatever it is that they do is taking them to a whole new level so it's like again adding more things to just make it more what i'm calling it is busy work is only creating a more problematic uh i would say kind of 
cesspool in the game because now it's like okay i had to worry about doing and getting things for resonations now i got to worry about divinates then i still have to be worried about my gearing there's none of this process that's actually easy (laughs) you know like none of it's actually easy and i think that that's the thing too is that you made it all relative to the gotcha and that's something that makes it super 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 annoying to do it makes it super pay to win um because again going back to the idea of shimmers if you don't have those units then you already can't do it and then if those units do have investment or if you don't have or if you do have some of the other espers to do things then you're not really being able to fully utilize those espers because you're not getting the higher base stat values and the other thing that that leads into is even things like andres where there's still people that's like still trying to get into farming that uh which i will say with the newer content it is going to be emphasizing things like if you're doing deso it's going to definitely be emphasizing things like the relief set and things of that nature like you have to use those sets i I'm like telling you but again it's just putting it in a putting the game in a place to where it's making people not want to play like you know and it's just kind of one of those things where you really are weeding out all of your in-game players and you're only emphasizing those that are spending and for me I think that it's becoming and really getting to a point to where I really am like looking at the game like I don't want to continue to make content on a game that is only going to be emphasizing pay to win stuff. Uh, It's not fun. It's easy to be able to open up your wallet if you have the, you know, the means to be able to do so to do things in these games. But for the average, which we'll say is the ninety nine point nine percent of the player base that isn't able to just open up their wallet on demand. It makes this game, in my opinion, not fun. It just makes it so not fun. And there's just so many different things that could be done. But I think the most alarming thing is just seeing the dev- the, the developers not address any of the actual issues yet. Um, and the thing is, is that you can literally say like, hey, we've seen your feedback. We're just taking the time to draft something to say to you guys or whatever it is, whatever. Like, and the other thing, too, even with that, is that I just feel like also the last few responses that we've gotten have also been very scripted. Like they didn't seem like they were genuine at all. They just seemed like they were just responses that were going to that, that were like PR responses just to try to make people feel better. But with no actual real action to follow them to actually make the stay of the game better. So I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know how much longer I got to continue making dislike content with the state of the game like this, seeing how the developers are treating the game, it almost feels like they're just preparing for an EOS. And it's like, I hate using that term, but that's what it feels like. And it just is what it is. So, you know, it's like, I still try to throw my content out here and there, but the game isn't fun to make content on. Like it's not, it's it's becoming less and less fun to make videos on. It's becoming less and less fun uh, to live stream. Um, Less people, like the live streams are now just becoming a basis of complaining versus actually talking about meth, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, metrics and different um, strategies and things of that nature. It's just become a complaint playing fest now and it's really honestly none of our fault it's the devs it's dislike's fault so it just kind of sucks to see things going this way but i just like again to further emphasize that things need to be addressed they can't you like can't keep rotating into weekends and then you guys take off and then you come back and then you drop another patch note and you just completely ignored all the stuff that people are saying and you're just continuing to push out content that nobody is even asking for and you have a a very 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 effed up foundation game base like it's just the foundation of this game is so messed up and it's one of those things where you guys just simply need to take your time you need to put a halt to the game and you need to completely just revamp rethink about this game and what you're doing with it because otherwise you're gonna have nobody making content on this game very very soon and to be fair you're also gonna have no players so that's just my spill with that um again going to try to give uh, some more constructive feedback on, you know, what they can do with this game. But it's looking real, real doomy for Deslight, unfortunately. I really like, again, don't like being that way, but they're just not doing anything. And it's just that simple. So that's going to be that, guys. Everyone stay blessed. And yeah, stay charged up.